in it together. Um, we've decided to kind of move, move the name a bit to Engaging Together um, because a lot of you will have probably in your mind connotations of David Cameron's We're All In It Together. Um, and that's been mentioned by a few people, including um, a, a politician in the borough. So we thought we'd, we'd change that. So our new branding is Engaging Together. And part of kind of this, this change over, I've managed to actually set up um, a place on the web where I've started to put all of the things to do with Engaging Together. So the website is www.engagingtogether.org.uk. Um, it's built on a free blogging platform, which means I haven't had to pay um, to, to have the website built. Um, which is good because there isn't resource to do that um, and by using that platform it's actually really easy for us to use an update so footage that we take today and the audio providing it all works out we'll, we'll get it up there and it's really easy to do that and for other people to see it and also it, these kind of websites allow interaction so you can go on and put comments on or ask questions or whatever you want next to anything that's on it um, which we think is great the downfall with using some of these um, platforms for sites is that some of you work in organisations where your policies and your firewalls won't let you access them. So for that I apologise, however it felt it was better than nothing, it's moving in the right direction and actually there's work to be done around changing the way that people in the public sector can engage with communities in terms of all of this kind of social media and social tools. You need to be able to listen to communities. So we need your organisations to enable you to do that. So we're fighting that fight. Um, there's a quick screenshot of the site there at the moment. I need to get a better picture at the top, but at the moment I've put one of the uh, cartoon images that we had done when we were doing the together work. So basically, back in 2007, we convened a working group of people from different organisations across the borough to look at... Um, what the issues were at the heart of community engagement. We were particularly interested in engagement in partnerships in the borough because they're spaces where community representatives were invited to influence decision making and so on. Um, but we started to look more widely. We talked to a lot of people who were active in community, voluntary and faith organisations, talked about a lot of the barriers for them, then started to talk to people who worked in public services and found out, to our horror, that people were being asked to engage with communities and didn't feel as though they had the skills or the confidence or so on. And that really affected, obviously, how they felt about doing this activity. So we realised there was a need there to support people who wanted to, to become more confident and have the right skills to work with communities in the ways that they were being asked to, but perhaps hadn't been trained to before or supported to. So in 2009, we consulted with 100 people over a period of a month. We ran workshops through the summer um, to find out what training support needs people had. And we then put together a training support package, which started running um, just over a year ago, really. Um, so I haven't gone into a very kind of <coughs> detailed analysis. Um, but in terms of the, the actual training courses we've done, Ten different courses have been written and delivered. We've filled 156 training places, so 156 you know, places have been filled. And that, that was 118 different people, so some people have obviously been to more than one. In terms of who comes, it roughly splits into a third from the voluntary community and faith sector, a third of council officers, the council you know, being a large employer obviously, and then a third of other public sector officers, that includes police, fire service, probation, and the NHS. One of the key things we've, we've built is what we call our Level 1 course, which is about understanding engagement, because <coughs> almost before you do some of the other things, what everyone wants, wants to know, what are the tools? What tools can I use? What ways can I do things? But actually you need to take a step back if you're going to be working with communities and think about why you're doing it and what influence they can have. So our Level 1 course, which we've, we've run four times now, um, we piloted it first. That includes frameworks and ideas that actually help people think through their activities before they start to make massive plans about what they're going to do. And just to give you an idea of what people liked in the way that we're doing this, feedback from the evaluation forms, people have said they like the course because it's practical and it's easy to follow. So although we're giving people kind of big frameworks, we're presenting it in accessible ways. Um, friendly and relaxed, our training environments are kind of very informal in that way. 
Um, we've tried to make the course creative, quite visual, and very interactive, so people spend a lot of time learning from each other as well, using the materials that we give them. And people enjoyed meeting each other and sharing ideas. You'll get an idea from that split of kind of who comes to the courses, the value that you can get out of meeting people who work in very different kinds of organisations. Um, and I like this quote, someone said, the training style is interactive. There was no PowerPoint, very refreshing. <laughs> so today I stand before you with PowerPoint, for which I apologise. It's not my preferred um, style of working, but it, it was kind of helpful for today. Um, the kinds of things people said they've learned on that level one course, they've learned about the types of engagement and how to make it empowering. They've learned about use of frameworks and concepts. So we use something called the ladder of participation which is available for any information about it, it's all on the internet. <coughs> We've learned about community empowerment. Someone said it had reinforced the need and importance to empower the community with engagement, and they actually went on to say, this should be our number one priority in our work. And you know, never mind the target, this is what we should focus on. Um, and there's someone who said, and you know, this is probably the case for a few people, they already knew quite a lot of it, but it clarified some things, and that it's always helpful to have a bit of a refresher. So there are some people coming, who are familiar with some of the ground that we cover, but like to take it as a way of kind of reflecting. 97% of the people attending that course said it gave them an increased awareness of an empowering approach to engaging communities, which is what engaging together is all about. 93% said they'd recommend the course to people in similar roles. And 85% said what we were delivering was either mostly or extremely important to the work of their team or organisation. So that's helpful feedback for us because we know we're kind of hitting things that people need to be doing. Other courses we've delivered, which I won't go into the feedback on directly here, but I'll, I'll produce some information and put it on the internet and, and send it out if people want it around feedback on these. But we've done public speaking skills, which Tony is in the room, helped us to deliver, which is fantastic. Consultation skills, strategic partnerships, networks and strategies, introduction to facilitation skills, and partnership working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. And then courses we've got coming up, which you've got in your pack. Um, introduction to presentation skills and communicating with commun communities in empowering ways. We put those both on the same day with the idea that if people want that whole bit around kind of information giving type part of engagement, they can, if they wish, kind of straddle both the morning and the afternoon session and they build. Um, we're going to run more facilitation skills. Colleagues in the local authority are currently in the process of designing courses on running focus groups on questionnaire design. Um, I'm going to run some sessions in August if there's take up for them around reflective practice. I'll do another one of the strategic partnerships, network and strategies because I actually do that in um, liaison with the Black Country Open Industrial Mission when they have their clergy induction for the borough. So that's a kind of annual thing on the calendar now. And I'll also, I'll also run something on Dynamo if people are interested, which is about your own individual influence and sort of how you can think about having, having more of it, which is actually important if you work in environments where perhaps you want to engage with communities in certain ways, but there are barriers being put upon you and constraints around you, so how can you try to tackle some of that? Um, also on the desk, there was um, a flyer that a course at the PCT are doing around mental health awareness. Some of you that were at the last engagement network event here might have been part of a group that was looking at working with communities um, around mental health. So if you want to take one of those, um, that's a free course in the PCT and making it open. So please do. And the other thing to mention is that um, not under engaging together, but just more broadly under the work that we're doing at CBS, Mel and I are running social media surgeries once a month. So the idea of those is that um, people from community groups, clubs and societies can come, meet with a volunteer who knows a bit about Facebook or Twitter or blogging, and they can learn from each other. Um, really informal, we run them in a cafe, um, it's just kind of a late afternoon thing, kind of five to half six, once a month, and if any of you who um, perhaps aren't involved in a club or a group in Dudley, um, but you're interested and want to get involved, maybe you could come and help us, because we're always looking for helpers. Um, so, if you want to know more about that, just ask, ask me or Mel, and I can send you the link to that. Um, so, the last thing to say, it's not just about training. Um, what we're trying to do through engaging together is develop different ways of supporting people. So, these network events are one of those, and as I said, we have three here. 
Um, Divi Council have got an engagement database, a toolkit and a guide. They've got a whole area um, that their staff can access um, around engagement. And that's actually being shared with the PCP at the moment. I'm not sure how far that's got from in the process of sort of being accessible to PCT staff, with the aim being that over time it will become accessible to any of us. Um, but those of us who aren't in the council can see a topic facing side of that. We can look to see what kind of engagement activities, including all different sorts of consultation and so on, are being planned by the council and what kind of feedback has been collected. Um, all of this is this work is sort of guided by there's a community engagement working group, which if you've got any interest or want to know more about that, please do ask me. Um, Janet's in the room, she's she's part of that and we're trying to link um, things that might be going on in organisations and also at government level so that it, it influences in a positive way what we deliver in our training and these networking events. So we're linking what's going on in the outside world with how we do things in Dudley. The community engagement delivery group, as I mentioned, there are six of us doing that and we plan things like today and deliver the training. So we do the nuts and bolts bit. Um, for anyone now who attends the level one training, there's a practitioner's approach guide around engaging together, which gives all the kind of background to um, what our approach is in Dudley and little activities that they can work through to just to embed that. And for anyone who's been on the course, they will be getting a copy of that as well. We're going to send them out. And we've got the new website, so hopefully that will be in the form of support. So, that's me done on this bit. If you want to know any more about an engage, engaging together anything, I'm here all, all morning, so please take the opportunity to come and ask. But really we want to get it over to you because these events are about people finding out who else is out there doing what. So the networking activity um, which forms is going to lead, uh, you all should have um, a number on your badge. If you haven't, just feel free to join a group. If you've got a number one, you're going to be with 